Hello? 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 Wonderful. Love some audience participation, right? And to be quite honest, that's why I'm up here today. Because last year, it dawned on me that when we have our graduation ceremonies, not everybody has been to one before. And therefore, they don't know what the rules are and how you're supposed to behave and what happens. So we thought this year we'd try coming in and explaining it. So the first thing I've got to tell you, which is the obvious safety announcement, which is if you hear a fire alarm, right, please leave via the fire exits. We're not expecting any drills today, so it will be for real. So we'd like you to just move quickly and safely out the building. That's the only formal serious one. The rest is really about how we would like today's celebration to go. And that's because we really do think of it as a big celebration. So taking photographs is encouraged. If that means you have to stand up, come to the front, down, stand in the aisles, whatever it takes to get the photograph of the person that you've been here supporting and encouraging for the last two or three years, that's what we want you to do, right? So we really would encourage you to make the most of the opportunity and get in the spirit of it. The second bit, I'm not so sure applies to you, right? Because we do three ceremonies in a day. The morning ceremony, 11 o'clock, people are still a little bit asleep, right? And probably just need a little bit of encouragement. So we've been practicing clapping and cheering to get everybody awake. The afternoon session, this one, the bar's been open. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. And by the evening, the bar's been open for a while, yeah? Now, the reason we do this is every year, the most loud and raucous, right, of our graduation events is this one, right? With the students from the courses you're here to support today, right? So I don't think you need a lot of encouragement, do you? Right? However, we're going to do it anyway because if nothing else, it makes me feel good because I'm going to get you to cheer as I walk on stage, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go off the stage and I'm going to be that person that for the last two or three years you've supported, you've encouraged, you've told them to get on with it and stop complaining, it's their choice. You've gone too far, you can't stop now. All of those wonderful words of encouragement and you're so pleased that they've made it to this point today and it's a big celebration for everybody, okay? So I'll walk down the stairs, when I get to the top stair, I want to hear it sort of shout and whoop and holler that, you know, even the Americans would be proud of, right? We'll give it a go. That's really fabulous. And to your expectations, you don't need encouragement, right? Because I also know a lot of the students on the, these programs, you know, getting onto a stage is a big deal for them. They really live for that moment. So I'm sure they won't need a lot of encouragement either. But I really want you to cheer and shout for everybody because not everybody's going to have the same number of supporters here, right? So it's that bit about everybody getting behind all of the students and cheering and shouting for everybody. So we're going to give it one more go, just for my ego, because it makes me feel good, right? Just to make sure you really got that ready clap, cheer, whoop, holler, whistle, whatever it takes, so that we're ready to go when the students come in. So one more time. There isn't a single person who's going to walk across that stage today that won't have their whole spirit lifted by hearing that. That was fabulous, right? So can you do that about 200 times? <laughs> yeah, that's really what we need. Right? So genuinely, we want you really to celebrate and enjoy today. There, is, there are no, no formalities really. You know, we don't, we're not stuffy about this. It's a formal occasion, but it's a great occasion of celebration. 
The only thing we'll ask you to do is stand up as the uh, platform party you brought in. But other than that, please enjoy it and make the most of the day. Thank you for your time.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to welcome your class of 2019. So please make some noise for your art and design, music performance and production arts graduates led by Head of Curriculum, Sai Chambers.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for your platform party. Please be seated. Ladies, gentlemen and graduates, a warm welcome on what is a very special occasion. I would like to extend a welcome to our guest speaker, songwriter and producer, Elliot Kennedy. As tradition holds, I'd like to invite the head of art, design, music, music performing arts on the stage, Mr. Simon, Simon Chambers, Chambers, to take, take the graduation self. Piper tapestry would depict of our graduates and your time here at the Newcastle College University Centre. It would show that you are now, through your studies and practice, brimming with the resources that our future needs. You can you progress, can progress yourself, you're, you're adaptable, adaptable, you can you collaborate, collaborate, you've shown you leadership and decision making, you are creative, and you are you are There are many people who want to make this history of a right here in England. England. In our graduates, we have the history of tomorrow. tomorrow. To our graduates, enjoy the ceremony. When your name is called, take the time you need to soak up the recognition of your achievement and acknowledge that when you take hold of your academic degree scroll, you move from a graduate to a graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, to formally open our ceremony, may I take this opportunity to invite Sumacar, board member of the Council of College. Which in itself is historical. You 
Castle College University Centre is launched to offer a degree in ethics, where our degree students work towards their qualifications in dedicated facilities with exceptional links to industry. I hope that our graduates sitting here today will agree with me when I say that we offer a unique experience for our degree students and aim to provide a level of support rarely found within universities. Newcastle College is the founding organisation of NCG, which has now grown to be one of the largest colleges in the country, and it remains the foundation of our group as it leads the way in moulding talented, work ready individuals ready to make their mark on the world. Our core purpose is to unlock potential through learning, and seeing you all graduate here today, it is clear that that is still a worthy purpose for us. You are all brimming with talent and potential. Our aim right. is for all of our colleges to be great to learn. It is your, your success, success which makes the Castle College University Centre a great place to learn and develop skills that will last a lifetime. My sincere thanks, thanks to all of you for your outstanding achievements. On behalf of MCG and the Castle College University Centre, I would like to wish you all every success in your future and hope that you will remember this day with pride. I'd now like to thank you to a Thank you, Sue. Hello, Hello and, and welcome, welcome again. again. As, As principal, today is one of the most exciting days in the Newcastle New College University Centre calendar. And I personally find a great day to remember and recognise how important this college is to celebrate the achievements of our students. Thank you for your time. 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 I missed out on that, that opportunity to share with my family and friends and my peers which I've studied. I never got to go home on the stage for more than two years. Four. Four. <laughs> now you know my job. Fortunately, I have the opportunity, opportunity to join you here and share with your celebration. And that is what makes it important. And I do hope that today is a wonderful day for you all. I'd like to give some thanks now to our board for the teachers, staff and colleagues at Newcastle College University Centre for all their hard work and supporting our students and ensuring that we are able to reach this point today. I'd also like to thank the parents, families, friends, partners and all those people who supported and helped them through their coursework, their work commitments, their social life, just so that we are able to get to this point. It's a really important moment. And to you, our graduates, today they have to you. Our successful students who work so hard and such a minute to get to this point today. Today we are all going to share your moments and enjoy your day with you. Thank you, Sue. 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 And it's, it's a great moment to enjoy. And I'd encourage you to take your time to enjoy it and have your head held high to walk across the stage. Now, I'm now sure I speak on behalf of all of my colleagues, colleagues when I say how proud we are of each and every one of you. And we're, and we're delighted right to be here to share your celebrations. And we know that today will be a day to remember. Make the most of this day and enjoy your ceremony. And from myself and the universe of Centre, we would like to wish you all the very best for the future. Now we'd like to introduce you to our guest speaker, Elliot Kennedy. Elliot is a songwriter and record producer who has worked with many successful international artists. Beginning as an apprentice engineer in a record recording studio in Rotterdam, Elliot found his first taste of global success with the Spice Girls and then since then has had major hits as both a songwriter and producer with artists Absolutely. including Celine Dion, Blue, S Club, Club 7, 7, Brian, Brian Adams, Adams, Lulu and Take That. Lastly, working with developing artists on The X Factor. 
He's been nominated for Golden Globes, Grammy Awards, and has won an Ivan Novello Award. Please welcome Elliot Kennedy. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, if the way you're going to do it is hard, should we give them a round of applause? Now, <clears throat> I love doing things like this. I'm an energy person. I work, go into a recording studio and sit with people very seldom on the hair. A bit like today. Like it's, 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 it's nice to get the energy in the room. room. I'm, I'm, I'm told that this particular group of students are the best friends. The, 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 the actual musical creator of my mind. There you go. I thought so. Um, I thought about a couple of things to talk about today. And we're only talking about what I've done. Google, Google, Google. See what I've come to. But I thought I'd sort of talk about a couple of other things that I've found. Uh, have become sort of true. Now, I read a lot, and I, I read a book recently by John Locke, the philosopher John Locke, on his book about uh, human understanding, essay of human understanding. He talks about things that we take for granted, the ability to reason, the difference between knowing the difference between right and wrong, and, uh, and, on, on, and things that we fundamentally take for granted. He thinks that these things aren't innate, that they're not, we're, born, we're not born with them like instincts that we have to adapt, we have to use reason to work these things out, which means that even for the most fundamental stuff, we have to put work in just to get to those fundamental parts of being a human being. Malcolm Gladwell, in his book uh, Outliers, talks about success as a measurable phenomena. He talks about um, having to put in 10,000 hours into what you're doing before you become a master at what you do. And everyone I know that I've worked with, I've done this sort of 10,000 hour thing, and it really is quite true. There are other components, like uh, other than just putting the effort in, you have to have a talent for doing what you're going to do and all the rest. There are other fundamental factors, social factors, confidence, the ability to be able to express yourself and share ideas. They're all important. But when it comes down to it, 10,000 hours thing is actually the most important thing because it, it means you're putting work in. And he says that only then do we notice windows of opportunity appear? Now, before you've achieved those 10,000 hours, and what he's saying by that is that you know what you're doing at that point, you probably wouldn't recognize it as a window of opportunity. So again, this idea of putting work in before fundamental things appear is another theme. And I like the, this, this uh, phrase, the, work, the harder I work, the luckier I get. Well, I can tell you from as, as a songwriter and a record producer, that's been a, a common theme in my life. And what I, rather than look, see this as luck, I'd rather use the word serendipity. Because I think that serendipity in its simplest form, a, a fortunate accident, seems like a case of happenstance. But in actual fact, these things start to make sense when you think about serendipity as something a little bit more measurable. So let, I want to just be, just spend five minutes talking to you about serendipity. Because this is going to be a big part of your life. As a songwriter and record producer, serendipity plays a big part in my life. So let's just start with the first basic level of serendipity, of, of fortunate accident. And let's call this Colombian serendipity. Because here's Columbus, and he sets out on sail to find the west coast of India, goes completely the wrong way, and discovers America. What a result. Total accident, fundamental fundamental basis of serendipity. In fact, he's so convinced it's the west coast of India, we still call that area the West Indies. How funny is that? So serendipity in its first, most simple form. But there's a, another level, and I like to call this Archimedean serendipity. So here's Archimedes, he's got a problem. He wants to work out how to measure the volume of an, of a, a, an irregular object. Can't work it out, too many curves. No straight lines, it's too difficult, can't work it out. Decides to get into the bath one day, sees the water rise, and shouts Eureka. Now, he's looking for an answer. He's putting work in, but he finds the answer in an unusual place. So it's serendipity, but it's a little bit finer. It's a little bit more defined. 
But then there's the top level, the finest. And let's call this Galilean serendipity. And this is where I think it starts to make sense. Because Galileo put so much work into what he was doing. He would go out every night and with his naked eye could see what he really believed to be true, that we weren't the center of the universe, that moons were going around other planets. He just couldn't prove it. So he built the first telescope. He put work into this thing so much so to prove his point, that what he was going to discover were moons going around other planets. And he looked in and discovered the universe. What a result. Now that is what I call a fortunate accident. In a fine form, because that goes from just this blind look to almost like laser light focus. And this is what you're going to find as you start this journey through your life. In all these different areas, whether it be in the, in the arts or in business or in tech, at some point, you're going to have to take that focus, that light that you've, your search light that, that is going out there, you put out there looking for what you want, and it's going to have to get narrower and narrower and narrower. During that time, you're going to be doing your 10,000 hours. And what's going to happen is you're going to get luckier because windows of opportunity will present themselves. So all of a sudden, we're back to this simple phrase, the harder I work, the luckier I get. And this is the theme of my life. Embrace these opportunities. Work hard because that's when the good stuff happens. All I can say is it's been a privilege to be here with you today. It's such an exciting energy, and I'm looking forward to saying hello to you as individuals. Enjoy every minute of it. Good luck. Thank you very much, Elliot. Uh, I'd now like to invite our Director of Higher Education, Nikki Turnbull, to the stage to address you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be with you today as students from Art and Design, Music and Performance and Production Arts prepare to graduate. I am proud to be addressing you here on such an important and significant day which marks the end of an era for you all. Years of hard work and determination, reading books, writing reports, attending your classes, has all paid off and led to this moment right here. Though you may be excited or nervous, awaiting what new adventure tomorrow may bring, it's, an impo it's important that you take a moment to reflect and appreciate your accomplishment. Today, you all share in this achievement. Newcastle College University Centre prides itself on providing vocational higher education which has given you the skills and knowledge you need to make a difference in your industry. Our courses are designed by employers and lecturers together to provide skills that are really valued and many of you have already secured full-time employment or placements through these strong links with industry together with your own hard work. I ask one thing of our graduates today. When you are established in your new posts, please remember us, and perhaps you can provide opportunities for our future students. Perhaps you will be the work placement provider, the work-based assessor, or even the next guest speaker of the future. Today is a day to celebrate successes and some students here today have won awards for their academic excellence or vocational skills. You will find these listed in your graduation program. All of you have individual stories to tell of achievement and success during your studies, which are personal to you. Our art and design graduates have worked hard alongside their degree to successfully complete some fantastic work placements with employers some of which have offered employment to them after graduation. These include the Handbag Clinic, Kaylee Mac, Junkyard Styling, and Moonpig, as well as international work placements and internships in New York and in Switzerland. Others have set up their own fashion or design brand and displayed their work in exhibitions both regionally and nationally. 
From music, our students have grabbed opportunities this year to get involved with events and festivals across the Northeast, including Hit the North, This Is Tomorrow Festival, and Radio One's Big Weekend, whether they've been involved backstage, in production, or even in performing. In performance and performance arts, we have this year seen the introduction of an HE repertoire, which has put on successful performances, including the Regina monologues. Many of our students here today took part in a Christmas performance of A Christmas Carol at Northern Stage, working alongside professional actors in more than 50 performances. Our musical theatre ensemble also developed their first programme of work this year and have worked extremely hard to develop their performance and production skills. Most of you have juggled your coursework commitments and family life and some of you have overcome many difficulties to be here today. So hats off to you. On behalf of all graduating students today, I would like to thank parents, partners, families and friends who have encouraged and supported you as, you as you have worked towards this day. I would also like to acknowledge the dedication of the lecturing staff who have managed and supported your teaching and learning whilst you have been at the University Centre. In particular, I would like to mention Liv Evans from Art and Design, David Edwards in Performing Arts, and Tom Guest in Musical Theatre. <laughs> all of whom will be leaving the University Centre this year. Thanks to you all for your hard work and the difference you have made to our graduates here today. We wish you all the best of luck. To our graduates, we are all extremely proud of you today, and, but please join me in applauding all the people who have helped you in your achievement. Thank you. So look around and remember this moment and be very, very proud. On behalf of the staff of Newcastle College University Centre, I wish you every success and I am confident that your time as students will have given you the skills, knowledge and confidence to get what you want from your career and from life. We will now begin the conferment of awards, and I would like to ask Tony Lewin, Principal of Newcastle College, and Chris Payne, Interim Chief Executive of NCG, to join me on stage. Honours Creative Enterprise. Bethan Armstrong. <laughs> Amy Ashbridge. Bowering. <laughs> Mimi Craig. <laughs> Susanna Dickinson. Helena Dominican Gray. <laughs> Laya Gull. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sarah Louise Hamilton. Honor 
Louisa Henderson. <laughs> Courtney Megan Heppel. <laughs> Jessica Heron. Rachel Jewett. <laughs> Michelle Mia Malone. <laughs> Margaret Elizabeth Morn. David Mitchinson. <laughs> Sumitra Taras Ramdas. <laughs> Paige Richards. Kieran Stewart. <laughs> Louisa Surtees. <laughs> Stephanie Thomas. Amanda Jane Ketty. <laughs> BA Honours Fashion. Kate, Caitlin Cosgrove. <laughs> Lauren Craig. Fine Art, Sheila Marie Burns, <laughs> Jacqueline Claire Pisano Wood, <laughs> Sarah Clark. Simone Catherine Dixon. Christopher James Fudge. Rachel Gessio. Olivia Huscroft Hall. <laughs> Lauren Hunter. <laughs> Lauren Kirsten Johnson Smith. Anna Smith. Yeah. Foundation Degree Fashion. Kevin Michael Dilworth. Yeah. Foundation Degree Fashion Retail and Enterprise. Abby Chipchase.
Jessica Megan George. Caitlin Louise Harmison. Robert Michael Ridley. Jessica Royal. Foundation degree, Interior and Spatial Design. Rebecca Ashley Bloor. <laughs> Navina Chip It Over. Kyra Clayton Gibbs. Anna Rose Falloon. Charles Brian Graham. Michael Cameron Hall. <laughs> Stacy Hetherington. <laughs> Cameron Stewart Irvine. And our Student of the Year from Interior and Spatial Design, Jack Knuckles. <laughs> Jade Simpson. <laughs> Foundation degree, Printed and Constructed Textiles. Caitlin Haley Bray. <laughs> Megan Goff. <laughs> Eleanor Hall. Deborah Helm. <laughs> Rebecca Lynn Milburn. <laughs> Stephanie Pinnock. Alice Rakes. <laughs> Danielle Scott. <laughs> Joanne Elizabeth Shanley. Music Production, Student of the Year, Kelsey Rose Carr. Well done, Kelsey. Amber Louise Jackson. Glenn John Palace.
Stefan Alexander Waltall. Ellis and Alexandra Wally. Christopher David Wilson. Beamer's Honours Popular Music Performance. Cameron John Kenneth Heffer. Jasmine Mitchison. Thomas Simpson. Foundation Degree Music, Jonathan Byrne. Owen Morrow. <laughs> BA Honours Acting and Performance Practice. Bobby Rose Biggins. <laughs> Eleanor Neve Carter. Alexander Arthur Percival Edward Christodolu. <laughs> David Connolly. <laughs> Hugo Pym Davison. Jack Thomas Bailey. <laughs> Molly Farquhar. <laughs> Harriet Hudson. Kennedy. <laughs> Olivia Terry Marion. <laughs> Matthew Martin. Joseph Luke Metcalf. <laughs> Laurie Jo Lewis Neesom. <laughs> Isaac Ramon Spencer Cape. Charlotte Emma Turrell. <laughs> Rachel Wells. <laughs> BA Honours Dance. Jasmine Ahmed. Alana Louise Best. Georgia Broomhead.
Jasmine Louise Kaur. Sean James Crammond. Sophie Ellen Ellis. Jason Strong. BA Honours Musical Theatre. Katie Blythe. Amy Duncan. Samantha Macbeth. <laughs> Foundation degree events management. Emerald Isis Bull Lloyd. <laughs> Bethany George. Holly Saint House Jonathan James Smith Emily Louise Taylor Kerry Towns. <laughs> Foundation degree, musical theatre. <laughs> Rachel Georgia Beck. <laughs> Elsa Bennett. Rebecca Louise Bergen. Brooke Louise Cameron. Emma Coburn. Stephanie Crew. Abigail May Lincoln. <laughs> Francesca Catherine McGibbon. <laughs> and our student of the year from Foundation Degree Musical Theatre, Chloe Ogilvico. Olivia Eve Rathmal. <laughs> Foundation degree, Stage Management, Technical Theatre. Alexander Joshua Bird. <laughs> Callum James Yarb. Sean Robson Malloy. <laughs> Caitlin Louise Norris.
presents the awards from Art and Design, Music, Performance and Production Arts. I would li like, now like to introduce, introduce sorry, our final speaker of today, Alexander Christodoulou, who will be speaking on behalf of all today's graduates. Alex graduated today with a first class honours degree in acting and performance, with the highest mark ever seen on the course. with the Newcastle College for five years in total and during his time here he performed in an ensemble at Northern Stage and organized work related learning project for the level six acting students booking and managing spaces at Boulevard in Newcastle. Please welcome Alex to the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Today has been exciting and emotional. What an honor it is to stand in front of you all right now. I want to thank the graduation team for allowing me to speak today. Um, I've never managed to shut up in class, so this feels very nice. <laughs> I want to share my story with you all today, to family, friends, teachers, and fellow students, with the aim of explaining to you all what it is we actually do within our university years. Why we ignore our family, uh, because we're too busy doing work. Why we lose touch sometimes with even our closest friends, because the deadlines we were given at the start of the year are beginning to creep. Why we shamefully feel the need to lie to our teachers where, about the extra work we said we'd done but haven't. Because for most of us, you teachers, are our first major role model. And if nothing else, you're the ones marking us, so obviously we're gonna lie if we haven't done the work. <laughs> On the acting course, within our last year, we have to create a project of our own choosing. And because it's theater-based, we usually all create a play from start to finish. We research, write, cast, direct, act. It is intense and hard work, but once those curtains close at the end of the day, the feeling is euphoric. It really makes it all worth it. This year, for my class, we faced many challenges. We had unfortunately lost the venue we were to perform in at the end of the year. For us as a class, this was our first major lesson in understanding the industry we were gonna progress and work into. The lesson was to be ready for the unexpected, to then not hold grudges, not blame people or pick anyone, to then move forward and solve the problem ourselves. We found out we weren't going to be performing at the venue. We all at first panicked. Uh, you should have seen it. Um, we were a disgrace. <laughs> Us actors were very over the top people. Um, we cry at literally anything. And I'm tearing up right now. <laughs> so we began looking for alternative venues to perform in. At this point, I think we all learned our second lesson, but didn't really know it yet. The lesson was that nothing is worth, nothing in life that's worth doing is done easy. That's obvious. We hear it a lot, but it was humbling to experience it firsthand. I was and still am the stage manager of Boulevard, the dance cabaret bar just over on Churchill Street. One day, while we were all researching and writing and plotting our plays, I was plotting a potential plan to kill two birds with one stone. I understood the class's need for a new venue to perform in, and I saw that Boulevard at that time only had showings on the Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I created a proposal for the owners of Boulevard to allow my class to perform a two-week theater festival, open on the weekdays. I went all out on this proposal. There were bright colors, cool fonts, and even some snazzy photos. When it came to finally sending the email, I was very, nervous. The next day, they gave me a call agreeing to my proposal and giving us the space free of cost as long as I managed the stage and oversaw, oversaw all aspects of the project. This really felt like our class broke through to the next level. We builded the bridge. I had learned a very valuable lesson that day. 
and it was not to answer the phone while I'm on the toilet. <laughs> I am, of course, joking. I learned that nothing in your life will come to you by sheer will, alone. You have to take the actions necessary to get what you want, which is obvious. Whether that be, in our case, finding a new venue, or if it's something like finding a new job. You must achieve your goals by completing the tasks which you set out for yourself. Most of the time, it is just as simple as that. It's just putting in the work. After months of planning and rehearsing, we as a class stepped up to the game and pulled off a two-week theatre festival, something which I never imagined us as a class would do so early on in our careers. I thank everyone involved in the process of that festival. I certainly know it would not have been possible if not for the fact that when times became tough and the path became cloudy, we stuck together like a true ensemble. I love you all. All of the students graduating here today have worked very hard and slept very little. <laughs> and while our success comes down to the choices and the efforts that we make, I'm sure most of our success would not have been possible, if not and without the love and support generously gifted by our family, friends, and teachers. I thank you all, every family member, every friend, every teacher, on behalf of myself and my fellow students. Your support really does make all the difference. Whether we needed that extra hour of peace and quiet to finish an assignment, a cup of coffee when we really needed one, or just the simple, you've got this. It all matters. I thank you all for believing in us when we may not have believed in ourselves. I want to give a last big thank you to Newcastle College University Centre for an extraordinary five years of training. Good old Henry Ford once said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're probably right. <laughs> so congratulations to the class of 2019. We did it! <laughs>